what you would like perceptually is that when light hits your eye, then you immediately have a perception of the world's like. But you, that doesn't happen. It takes a while to create a perception. Even a tenth of a second, and it turns out it's a tenth of a second delay, that doesn't seem like much, but if you're walking at just one meter per second, then a tenth of a second is 10 centimeters. And 10 centimeters is a lot. If you didn't correct for this delay, then anything that you perceive to be within 10 centimeters of passing you would have already bumped into you or you would have just passed it by the time you perceived it. And if someone's throwing something at you, it's gonna be moving much faster. Your delay might be, you're gonna get things wrong by this much, not just by this much. We need to correct for this in order to have the kind of behaviors that we have. So what the brain wants to do is not generate a perception of what the world was like when it hit the eye, but generate a perception of the near future. Because that way, by the time that near future arrives, you have a perception that's representative of that future. And so you have a perception actually of that moment. You have a perception of the present, but it requires anticipating the next moment in order to have perceptions of the present.